Less than an hour from downtown Nashville, you can find Smyrna, Tennessee, the hometown of Yankee starting pitcher, Sonny Gray. Nationally, Gray has made his name on the diamond, but around these parts, he's mostly known for his accomplishments on the gridiron. Sonny quarterback Smyrna High School to their only two football state championships in 2006 and 2007. Sonny Gray, touchdown! This winter, we visited Gray to see his hometown, off-season training regiment, and a glimpse of a day in his life. On the treatment side, we'll do everything from soft tissue work to some spinal manipulation to dry needling, some instrument-assisted soft tissue work, some cupping. We've done various taping techniques. But all those things together, the goal is to optimize his movement, create the best environment in which the tissue and the joint can move to do what he needs to do you know, in competition. He's helped me so much this offseason, just learning more about your body and knowing what your body needs. He's great, and, and I met him when I was at Vanderbilt, and I, I love going to see him. I've been seeing him three times a week for the majority of the offseason. He came in, he was very athletic to begin with. I think where we've seen some improvement is near those end ranges. He's become a lot stronger, which in the end makes him a little bit more resistant to injury. It's just kind of like the the new wave of trying to stay on the field and do whatever you can to, to do that. And he said coming in here with Josh for this offseason is I feel like just with shoulder strengthening, elbow strengthening, just maintenance type stuff. It's just trying to put yourself in the best position to get ready for spring and get ready for, for the season as possible. Sonny spends much of his offseason focusing on strength conditioning, and agility, but you'll rarely see him step on a mound in the winter. His unique off-season training and treatment program starts and ends with his childhood friend, Jeremy Holt. To me, it's really, really cool going in and seeing Jeremy because he's such a good friend of mine. It makes it fun. It makes me want to go every single day. We had a ton of fun. I mean, you couldn't separate us. We were inseparable for, for so many years, and it, it created a bond with all of us. I mean, we still carry today. You look at him, he's not, he's not a physical specimen. He's not the biggest. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He never has been. But one thing that he has that you can't measure is his work ethic. And one thing that he's always been able to do is, you know, show up, put in the work, and do what he has to do to make himself great. I'm throwing with him this year, which is, is so fun because it's, it takes you back to playing baseball when you're five, six, seven, eight years old. Because I used to do that with him then, and I get to do it with him now. And the cool part about it is we do it for a living. Never forget where you came from is a common sentiment among those from Smyrna. And for Sonny Gray, that means going back home whenever he gets the chance. It was a pretty small town that loved their high school sports big time. I mean, it wasn't like super, super small, but it was, it was pretty small. And it's, it's gotten a little bigger now. It was, it was pretty fun growing up here. We got to see a bunch of stuff at Smyrna High School, which was a cool experience for me because I don't get to go back there as much as I, as I wish I could. This is home, and this always will be. From a small town in Tennessee to the bright lights of New York City, Sonny Gray's humble roots and support system will guide him as he begins his second act in the Bronx.